Hello, so this is day 71 of the Wheel of Fortune Gems Challenge, and today we have Flooded Valley, Sada, and then to round it off, we have Sniper Top Path, and then last but not least, Heli Bottom Path. So this was quite an interesting run, and I'll just start off by like the thought process of this. I either had the idea of just having everything on the ground and having Sada not really do anything besides the abilities, or I could have built a the carrier flagship and have things like on top and that would allow me to use like a better range of support towers and have saw to do stuff. And I never I never really do like these ground based strats. I guess like I'll do it if I'm using like pod or something. Pod and like uh Adora or Azili any one of those heroes. But I decided I'm just gonna go with the carrier flagship because that's really i guess how i do it um i'm not really sure like the most optimal way to do it without uh i guess like the heli could stand a bit of a chance but i mean i guess it's not really a single path map and the uh heli just would not perform as well maybe it would have worked i don't know but i decided just to go with this route anyways i also had another choice i would either get sada as early as possible and Chinook Sada up to the top or not and I decided that it would cost way too much money and that would be money that I just don't have to get Sada up and I would only get like one extra level in exchange for $10,000 and slightly better downdraft. Um, so I decided not to go for that too. So I did uh, the just a peerless carrier flagship start and I made a few bad choices, such as resorting to um, this fighter plane for round 40. Uh, there really wasn't anything else that I could have done besides uh, upgrading the top sun sub, which I probably should have done because it would have made 63 a lot easier, which you'll, you'll see later. Um, from there, it was just downdraft into the carrier flagship and... Besides round 63, this early game really was pretty easy, but round 63, for some reason, it was, like, so close, but it took about an hour to beat, um, a lot of microwing, like, a lot of RNG, just stuff like that, so it wasn't, wasn't the most pleasant experience when you're dying to round 63 for about an hour straight, um, but nonetheless, I was able to get through it, I put the saw to down on top, and, I got levels, like, actually pretty well. Um, you'd think that if you are buying Sada on round 63, uh, you really wouldn't get, like, any levels. But you actually do end up getting uh, quite a good amount of levels, um, especially because this is expert map leveling, and you don't really need, like, to get up to level 18 or so for Sada to really put in a decent performance. So that that was nice. Um, it, it was pretty chill after that. Uh, I was able to get Comanche Commander up, and the basic support stuff, uh, a bunch of like the late game rounds are also very hectic, but nothing close to as bad as um, 63. For 98, it really did look like I was just going to die like game ended run right there um, several times, but I was able to get some good solutions out, some good micro solutions, and squeeze out the victory for that round. The rest of the rounds were easy. What really surprised me the most is how free DDTs were. Um, I also knew I wasn't going to get MIB just because that is a cash sink that I really could not afford in any way. So, um, I decided my MIB is literally just going to be one embrittlement with the subpar placement on the boat. And it's, it worked out way, way better than I ever would have thought. I thought I was going to have to get a Sabo and do early Sabo 98, um, to get it back for 99, stuff like that. But like, even with a snowstorm that didn't have the uh, DDT cross path or Alchemist RNG on it, it, it actually just worked out really fine. I think it really was the Moab shove combined with the Relentless glue that actually just stopped DDTs clean in their tracks. It, it was pretty awesome. And for round 100, it was just a spike storm. Um, I knew I was forced to spend the money on that, so... You can see, like, round 98, I, I really did not spend anything mid-round there. So, yeah, that was it. It was a lot harder. Um, it might have been harder than it needed to be. I'm not sure how, how much easier it would have been if I had done a land start, land strat. Um, but I just don't didn't think that it really would have been effective um, with Sada. Like, I guess I could have done Potter. Like, Powakai would be too expensive, but... 
um, something like that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, might as well before I go, the Top Path Sniper, it made it in. It, it did a little bit of work, I guess. I It didn't really do much, to be honest, though. But yeah, it, it was there. Um, so that's really it. Uh, kind of a crazy run, maybe not the most pleasant at times. Um, and yeah, this is definitely one of those one of those challenges of all times. It's quite something, quite a crazy run that you'll get with the random wheel. So that's all, and goodbye. Have a nice day.